guess you do. I guess you. Hey, little man. Hey, Johnny, man. How you doing? Yeah, I suppose you could find a worse place to live. <laughs> Look at that. Rachel's still sleeping, so I've had the morning to myself to kind of sit in the sun and <laughs> get rid of those white legs. <laughs> So this is kind of our basic setup. Uh, we have this folding table, the legs fold up and then it folds in the middle to half its size, so it's pretty compact. And our stove, it's an old Coleman propane stove, two burner. I've only used one at a time so far. Our water supply, we have two seven gallon jugs, bottled water because it's convenient. And then I have um What are you doing? I'm making a movie. Hi hon. Hi. I'm I'm chronicling our exodus. You're chronicling our descent into madness. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've already been there. So here's our water. Um this is an old jug that I used for my aquariums. I'm not comfortable drinking out of it for some reason. So I think I'll probably use this to store uh, water. Like if we come by a stream or uh, something where I can get a reasonably clean source of water, but maybe not something that I drink directly, and fill this jug up and um, use it for showers and that kind of thing. And then this is, you know, drinking water. So this is this is all potable <clears throat> trash bag. Uh, I've got an empty five-gallon bucket back here for various utility uses. I think I'll probably uh, do some laundry here in the next day or two in that bucket. And then I'm starting to put uh, screws in the wall here to hang stuff off of. I've got our shovel, the dog's leashes. I have them coiled up here dustpan, whisk broom, machete, and then uh, Rachel's kind of organized these shelves a little bit. Mine still needs work, um, but look, we still have, have space, so doing good. There's our little 35-quart ice chest that was... Uh, I don't know, $35, something like that, give or take, I forget now. I said it in another video, whatever that was. Hi. Konnichiwa. <laughs> and uh, here's all of our food supplies. I mean, we've got a lot of food. We're, we're doing good. And then um, I've got a little chair here that I can kind of chill out in and the door's open so a little breeze comes through, keeps it from getting stuffy in here. And then I've got uh, another bag of clothes here. This is kind of what I've been living out of is a suitcase here, so. And then I've hung my robe and uh, that's bread back there and our towels, my jacket, and this is my headlamp. These are pretty cool. I don't know if you've ever used one, but Rachel, <laughs> Rachel makes fun of me when I, when I wear it. I guess I look kind of dorky, but I'm too old to care anymore. Here's my cubicle with the dogs all snoozing out and everything. Uh, one thing I found really handy are these clips. They're just little spring clips. You squeeze them and they open up. And you put them around something and let go and they, they kind of clamp. And I've used them to you know, hold various things. I've got our power temporarily strung over here using them. I hang um, a, a blanket across here at night so that I have a little bit of privacy uh, in my cubicle. <clears throat> and then um, there's our power 
Right now it's at 14.8 volts using about five, six amps. We're charging everything right now. We tend to do that during the day. <clears throat> charging this laptop and I keep these batteries here charged for this flashlight. The dog supplies our medicine and laundry supplies, shower stuff, bug repellent. We've got uh, some 110 volt fans that we've never used. I don't know if we're going to ever need these. I think I'd prefer to get some 12 volt. Right now, um, I don't have a whole lot of 12 volt stuff, so we're kind of running everything off of 110 with the exception of um, the trailer light. Some extra blankets. Uh, this is where I'm kind of keeping all of my tools and parts and screws and tape and that kind of stuff. That's our uh, ginormous tent down there that sleeps 15,000 people or something. I don't know. It's, ha, ha, ha. It's, it's huge. It's a big tent. All of my tools down here at the bottom. <clears throat> and then this is the potty area. <clears throat> Excuse me while I move this chair kind of out of the way. Might bump you around here a little bit. <clears throat> this is our trash box. Got to do something different with that. I don't. I don't want it outside at night because I don't want to attract animals. But I doubt that this door is going to keep them from knowing what's on the other side of it. But you never know. Okay, here's the uh, the potty area. We're using it for storing our brooms and uh, this is a staff walking stick that I made. The staff of Shadow Falls. Amber sphere on the top. And if you just heard Rachel, she just told you its name, the Staff of Shadow Falls. If you remember the um, photograph that was over my fireplace, that was Shadow Falls. And I got this piece of wood here on a hike up to Idaho this year. Our potty, um, you know, just a luggable loose. And I st stuck it in a hole and then we put wood chips down on the bottom. Uh, and I think I called these cedar before, but they're actually redwood chips. We've got some rugs here that we haven't been using. Roll a TP. And um, so we just, um, you know, each use we use one of those bags. We've got, a, I don't know, about 80 hefty bags down there. And, uh, you know, put a scoop of redwood chips underneath and on top. And then tie it up. And then it all goes out the door. And we collect them all in this big trash bag. And then whenever we're by a large enough trash receptacle, then and we, uh, we dispose of it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> that's our potty area. Our view out the back door. And then this is um, what I've been using for my shower area. I just put some boards down to keep you know me from standing in mud while I shower, and it's kind of closed off here. You know, I've got three sides, and then the car is over here. But I mean, there's nobody out here, so I just give Rachel a heads up. Hey, I'm going to be taking a shower, so unless you want to see your father naked, stay put. <clears throat> a little place for the dogs to lay down, and I've got their water and food out here. So yeah, this is the camp. Later.